The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay is coming 2023. Sweet! If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like, he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Every day I like to go onto Steam and check out the brand new game releases. Yesterday this game caught my eye, it's called After Us. I took one look at the trailer and I knew I wanted to try this game in 3D in a VR headset. One of my most memorable and favourite 3D games I played in a VR headset was Journey and that was with Warpex a few years ago. I jumped into this game last night, I got to the initial starting area and straight away the game reminded me of Journey. Also it looks amazing in 3D. Lots of people question me why I like to play these games in 3D. Some people like to play games like Ghost of Tabor, they play it all the time, every hour they can spare. For me that type of gameplay, although it's VR, does not appeal to me. I would rather play a flat game like this, an amazing 3D, where it's going to blow away my senses. Playing a game like this in 3D in a VR headset, I'm constantly amazed at the quality of the graphics, the amazing 3D worlds, and it just really appeals to me. I know this is not a true VR game, but I get just as much enjoyment playing these types of games in a VR headset, the same way I get the same enjoyment playing a normal VR game. The only difference is I'm going to play these games with like a gamepad. When you do start this game, it tells you you need a gamepad to play it. So today I'm playing with the Xbox controller. Also, this is a third person adventure game. So I'm playing the game from behind the character. It's not like a normal first person game where you're the character, you can see your hands. You play the game from behind the character, but in 3D, being able to scroll around the world, it looks amazing. To convert this flat game into a 3D game that I can play in my headset, I'm using a program called Reshade and it's free. Reshade will work with any Unreal 4 or Unreal 5 engines and we all know about the universal VR mod that's coming very soon that's going to allow us to play basically any Unreal 4 or 5 games in a VR headset with hand tracking as well. So you're going to be able to use your VR controllers. For me discovering a game like this in 3D with Reshade is a good indicator I'm going to be able to play this game later this year using my hand controls as well so I'm going to really enjoy this game knowing that in a few months I can play this game using the hand controllers there's no tutorial in this video because I want to spend the most of the time exploring this amazing world and I want you guys to come with me I'll leave a link to one of my tutorial videos in the description below this video so check it out if you want to find out how to get these types of games working in 3D to play in your VR headset. I'm also recording this video in 3D so that if you've got a VR headset all you need is a program like virtual desktop, big screen or any browser that supports stereoscopic viewing, SPS side by side, you can watch this video in 3D. And if you like what you see you can play the game the same way using the same method so how does this work in my headset? Basically, it's like going to the cinema. In front of me is a giant 3D screen. This screen wraps around me slightly, so I can't really see the edge of the screen. If I look to my left and right, I can't see the edge of the screen. I can actually move my head around the world like this, and it feels just like a normal VR game. If I look behind me, there's nothing there. If you love VR, I would highly recommend you give something like this a try. There's plenty of free games that you can try and Reshade is free. So it's a no brainer not to give this a go. But okay, I'm going to jump into the game. I'm going to start a brand new game. Let's have some fun. So I do apologize if my voice sounds a bit hoarse still. I'm still recovering from a really bad flu. 
For those of you into reshade, I'm going to show you my settings. Hit the home key, bring up reshade. Make sure you've got Super Depth 3D on. My IPD is 64, so make sure you set your IPD. Now I'm going to scroll down to the depth map view. I've got my 3D depth on 80. I'm going to show you guys now the 3D depth map. So this is like the depth map for the game. Here you can actually see the 3D working. So the darker the grey, the closer the object is to your eye. The lighter the grey, the further away it is. So you can see here, look, a really nice 3D depth. If you've ever played a VR game, you know how the 3D works in a VR game. Look at this picture and imagine this in your headset in 3D. Just like you're playing a normal VR game. I'm going to get rid of the depth map and then we're going to play the game. If I go to my settings menu, graphics wise, I'm running the game at 4K and everything's set to epic. And it looks amazing. It really does look amazing. If you're not a fan, then it's your loss. Do not underestimate the power of 3D in a VR headset. As you can see from my save game file from last night, I played the game for 10 minutes just to make sure the 3D was working. So we're going to start a brand new game. We're going to do all the intro and everything. Let's dive in. I'm going to hit my F4 key to make sure that my virtual desktop is in the right place. There we go. So in front of me now is a big giant screen. I can see the edge of the screen there and the edge of the screen there. Now with virtual desktop, I can hit the F3, F2 key, and I can bring the screen closer or further away. This looks perfect. Already, I can see the amazing 3D. Enough of me talking, let's play this amazing looking game. And I do apologize straight away for any wow, wow, wow moments because it's going to happen a lot in this game. I can guarantee it. Interestingly, with some of the cutscenes, some of the cutscenes are in 3D and some of them are in 2D. She looks amazing. If you like these types of games, you're going to be playing them anyway, so why not try? To play them in a 3D world. Don't forget these games have been developed in a 3D engine. So basically I'm playing the game the way the developers wanted us to experience it. I 
and already this world looks stunning. This is such an interesting looking game as well. This is why I wanted to try it in 3D. And I can move the camera around. Look at the 3D on this, guys. Absolutely amazing. Now, there might be some artifacting on my main character when I get too close. That's because of a reshade having to um, convert this game into 3D. So basically, it's taking a 2D image and it's converting it into 3D. But this looks stunning. Right now, I feel like I'm sat at the cinema looking at this giant screen in 3D with a gamepad playing a game. You can't beat it. Okay, tap A for short jump and hold it down for a long jump. This looks like an old abandoned car lot or garage. So I guess we're going up here onto these cars. Oh, that's a cool effect. The car's moving. I've not seen any of the game, I've not got any further than this. So this is all new to me. I just want to explore. This is stunning guys, it really is. Hold the right trigger to sprint. I don't know what to expect, I've only seen the trailers. There's cars hanging in midair, look. And there's rocks floating in midair as well. And like I said, I'm getting some like journey vibes. Okay, let me try sprinting. Jump. Perform a high jump, double tap. Okay, so we need to double tap to do a high jump. Nice. How cool is this looking? I really hope you guys are watching this in 3D as well. Hold double jump to glide for a short time. Okay. Uh, we fell off and died. Try again, PD. Run and jump. Okay. We made it this time. I really did wish that developers would give us a natural VR mode. This is proof that this is working and it's working great. Look at the textures, look at the uh, quality and everything, look. Okay, where are we going? This way? And the effects are just popping in 3D. There's a hole there.
I do like it when I discover a gem like this. Are we going up here? I think we're going up here. Follow the lights. These are the types of games I'm going to play anyway, so why play it on a flat screen when I can play it like this? I'm inside the world. I feel like I'm just behind the main character. We're not going to make that. Look at the lighting effects. How amazing does that look? I've got goosebumps just from the graphics. This is how I feel the world in a VR headset. This is your life link. You can open it by pressing the Y button. Okay. That was even in 3D. You guys into this sort of thing, you're going to love this. This is incredible. Press in the air to perform a short air dash, right trigger. Oh, that's cool. This 100% is Journey Vibes. I love the little trail she leaves behind a lot with the grass and the flowers. The sounds as well. It sounds like a Terminator movie. Oh, 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 oh. oh, don't fall off. I guess we're heading over to the uh, objects in the distance over there, look. Have I come this way? I think we need to go this way. We're not going to make it. It's 
so where are we going? Look at the wind effect on the light. Okay, I see where we need to go. We need to go down here. It's really handy to have the uh, shadow as well on the ground so I can see where I'm going. I'm really enjoying the platform puzzle elements as well. Pretty cool. This game is just oozing quality. So, do we go down? Do we go up or do we go to the right? Let me try the right. I don't think I'm going to make that jump. So let me go down here. I'm going to continue to follow the road around here, look. And the music's changed, so I guess we're in a new location now. Look at the effects, guys. Why would you not want to play this game in 3D where you've got the wind blowing into your face. Look at the lights on the car. Okay, it's really dark. What's that? Is that sand? Or is that oil? All these things flying behind me. I don't know if that's junk or some creatures. That's not good. Wow. Nicely done. So do we have the power now to hold the left trigger to recharge a radial burst of life? That's so cool guys. Look at that. So what's the purpose of uh, releasing the life? Is that allowing us to get through the level? Okay, if I touch that, will I die? It's not good. It slows me down. So if I do like the life force, it gets rid of it, look. It turns it into lush vegetation. So this goo here, we need to... I guess we're going up. This world, look at the flowers, the dandelions. I think this is now one of my favorite reshade games of all time.
Developers, thank you for making such an amazing looking game. I love the concept. Okay, tap to throw the heart. Tap to record the heart. The heart will interact with some elements. You save the collectible spirit. Oh, crap. Okay, so where do we go? Oh, there's some spirits, look. So can we rescue them? Pet the creatures. Sing to discover the location of nearby spirits. Press the X button. This looks incredible. Going this way. Over here. Okay, on this bridge here. Got one. That way. I can see one. We need to get around there somehow. Let's go this way. That's going to be tricky to get. Interesting, I found a, a safe spot here, look. There's no more spirits here, so we need to find a way out. 
of the level. Do we head towards that tower? Okay, can we go up here somehow? Onto that bridge. That looks like the way to go. We need to get on here. Here we go. You can probably see me looking around the world as well in my headset. Because I've got like this much of the world to look around in. You can greet free spirits, some will let you pet them. Hello. You're free. The suburbs. Wow. Okay. Attack on Titan. Eat your heart out. This is amazing, guys. So good. Look at the uh, detail on the textures. Let me try to get close. Thing. This is stunning. This is nothing short of stunning. We need to go this way. That dragged me in. Okay, the gooey stuff here is a bit more aggressive. It grabbed me, pulled me in. I'm going to try and go this way. Let's go around here. What was that? What's that? I'm being attacked by plastic bags. These are worshipping the tower. So where are the plastic bags coming from? Leave me alone.
Can I grab onto that rope? Wow, look at the transports. Okay, that looks like a way up. One hundred percent just exploring. There's like a tree up there, like a branch. So can I get up there? What's this? What we found? A tree! I made a tree. This is like a reverse global warming simulator. I don't have a clue what I'm doing now. Something shiny here. Oh, cool. This game gets better and better. Can we shut the gate? Wow. Okay, let's check out this big door. I've discovered a new area. I missed loads in that last area. Oh, look at that. It's a Treyu from Never Ending Story. We found his body. Turn around. Do 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 do. Portray you. We saved him. He's alive. He's happy. Can I ride him? We have his spirit.
we found one of the main characters that we needed to save. So it looks like we've got to find like a whale, a crab. We can explore the orc. So there's the uh, first character we saved. We can fast travel back to Ares to look for remaining vessels. Or we can move on to new ones. Dog. Orc. So these are all the uh, other animals we need to find. This game's quite big. Let's go to the Orc. Oh wow. Okay, these are the different areas, look. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. I think I need to uh, explore this level a bit more to find the other creatures to unlock to be able to go to their levels. But this has been absolutely amazing. Uh, this is a game I'm going to spend hours and hours playing in my headset. You can't beat this, this is a pinnacle of 3D gaming right here, right now. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, I'm off to the gym now. As I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him. <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was going to mug him or something. <laughs> but I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. So you tried to salvage it? <laughs> Nathie, Nathie, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Three at the ready. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. that's that right. Hello. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathan's on fire. He just got roasted by me. You <laughs> 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 might want to break um, there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sore now. Yeah, I gotta say, he's <laughs> really. His eyes have been no, fixed. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's oh, PD off there. track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me, like Steve. Where are you, Steve? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, so he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <Jack>. Jack. Sorry, <laughs> so, yeah, he's, PD's in there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He totally was doing that. I was totally throwing that. What a blissful life to be looking for Steve. <laughs>